really do not. I, I'm not a fan of it. I've seen seen it. How about Gragas? Both ways. Gragas much more so. Okay. The tank Gragas gives you so much of a, a no. He will look towards the top side for you. someday. He knows he's got no, no vision on top of him here. Someday only has a ghost. There's no way to flash out. Someday getting flashed after, and someday will fall for first blood over the river. So you are actually... able to respond to this. Closer does have a lead in terms of the camps cleared and his current level here, and he comes in mid looking for the stun. A little bit more damage, and Closer has the green light to go after the first drake. Now, Closer's found himself here in mid. The chain CC <laughs> comes down awful nice, and Abadaga gets the second kill of the game for his team. They need to keep getting those kills, too, because Blue is winning in farm. Blue is farming up a storm there. Uh, on the but the Divine Sunderer is still just so effective. It synergizes so well. River goes over the wall here looking for Abadaga, who has no flash. He tries to buy himself time with the Shockwave. Forward, you got to hover top. There's no Cataclysm available here, but there is the Flash. And there it is, baby. Dignitas loving the way mid lane's looking now. Yeah. The bottom side's got Closer on the way. He throws out the Mist, and he goes in for Biofrost. The chain's already been applied, but so has the Heartbreaker. And Closer gets the kill. He'll go even further, looking for whatever extra damage he can find onto Neo. Chances of a kill are pretty much zero, but he wants to make a smite fight. Control Ward has been placed. Looks like we're not going to get that fight after all, and Dignitas gets the second Drake of the game. And Dignitas will try and push for that first turret bonus. That's so good from a team that got neither one of the Rift Heralds. If you can still take first turret despite that, you're feeling great. And so good for a team playing into Caitlyn. Again, since Caitlyn had to be paired with Lulu, and Lulu not nearly the early powerhouse for, for laning, especially when you're going up against uh, the double range folk, you're not going to have the same sort of pushing power, but uh, you know, well Nine done on the execution storm over the top of it. That carry is annihilated. There, there's no way out for them, so it can give you a huge upper hand in the team fight. On the flip side, 100 Thieves are looking for getting that territory open. Uh, again, the Gwen looking for some long lanes to work with. They finally get. Uh, you know, bottom tower here for the, the Caitlyn pushing. FBI and Someday actually moving ahead oh. with the needlework. Someday is not afraid. He just starts this one off charging into what looks like a 1v3, but the cavalry immediately arrives. So 100 Thieves forcing down that tier 2 turret, trying to force the fight right after. Closer's back over here in mid. Abadaga goes for the shock wave. Now he's got to try to get away. Closer's going to be found here. Who he coming in with the wild growth as Closer goes back over the wall. Follow coming out from River with a true shot barrage going oh. down. Oh. River barely stays alive and dignity. The rest of Dig coming down mid lane to back up Blue. So tried to threaten on Blue, had to ult his way back out there. And Dignitas, those avenues have been widened. You can see a little bit easier for Dig to get in there. And Fake God just walks up to him. Fake God finds FBI, who immediately has to get himself right on back. Abadaga and who he's going to be zoned away as Fake God goes back in. But Closer's been taken down to 25% HP. River now looking at this and himself. But Closer with a nice stun over the wall facilitates the death of the enemy jungler. And Make that a one nothing here for 100 Thieves. Dignitas still seeing if there's an angle to take. Thieves' health bars are injured. Blue still at full HP, but Closer comes over the wall with a stolen Jarvan body. He's going to find the kill, and now he's going to reset City. Closer does it. Burning and down Rivers here for the smite secure, and Dig will be on soul point. It was a one in this right now because it feels like the squad has a very, very plausible win condition in going for this soul. If they can grab an infernal soul 26 minutes in, that's scary for 100 Thieves. Hey, y'all, it's safe to come out. Dig fan, <laughs> show yourselves. Come on, come, on so come on out, lock in. It's been a little bit sketchy, you know, but let's see it now because they are in prime position. FBI forced out of it. Oh, but someday is hungry, baby, and he's cutting everybody down. Blue is number two, and Closer picks him up. Now Someday's gonna keep on leading that charge. The man doesn't know the definition of fear. It might as well not be in the dictionary. Closer has to get away with the Heartbreaker and barely does so. Abadaga continuing to fight up against the rest of Dignitas as the thieves fall back. Finding whatever auto attack damage you can onto Fake God. Drake's still at about half HP. Dignitas is willing to work on it here. They want to take it lower, but it's 100 Thieves going in after Dignitas instead. Someday's here on the front. He'll be wild growth. There comes your shockwave, but River denies it there with a stopwatch. 100 Thieves turning back towards the Drake as FBI's down to 200 HP, and River traps four inside the Cataclysm. Fake God will be the first to die, and Closer buys time with a stopwatch of his own. 
Dignitas back away now. 100 Thieves with incredibly low HP on two players. As Biofrost continues delivering the poke, Closer still hanging out in a hallowed mist inside the Drake pit. The Drake itself still alive, still at about 2,000 HP. Closer still in the back part of the pit. He'll try to maintain that position. Rivers back Someday. here once more. Someday has teleported back in, and he's ready to go. The rest of the team right behind him. Rivers going to be your target. Switching over to Neo now, also on to Blue. Someday with the zone, he's able to keep himself alive, and now he retreats back to the waiting arms of his team. Closer has gone too far. Too far forward. Both junglers down. Neo. Shut down over to Blue, and Neo jumps in. that Drake soul. FBI wants the steal, but he will not get it. And it's Infernal. Dignitas knows this is theirs, man. Nothing for 100 Thieves to do about it, and dig. And it's someday zoning River away again. He knows River wants to play this back part of the wall. Biofrost not going to eat the ace in the hole as Neo's able to intercept the bullet for him. Elder Drake down to below half. 100 Thieves, they're forcing Dignitas to be ready to respond to this. Closer's going to keep finding a little more damage. Elder regenerates very slightly. 100 Thieves continuing to try to control this area. Neo steps forward. Trading auto attacks with FBI. Not a good idea, but here we go. Neo tries to get away as Closer and Someday go in. Dignitas on the retreat as Someday finds his way onto blue. Gets a lot of shields, gets a lot of damage. FBI gets the enemy mid laner, and thank God's next to the menu. Someday goes on a killing spree as River heads right back into his own demise, but he will take FBI with him. I don't think it's going to matter because everybody else is deader than a doornail. River and Neo ready to go. Abadaga moving forward. Polly on to Neo. He gets back. River still looking for the chance to smite fight this. True shot barrage nearly kills Abadaga. Neo looking for his chance to be the hero of the Drake pit once again. Closer goes in. He finds the stun on the enemy 80. Oh, headshot! And Neo just headshots him. River comes right back in. And who he's not long for this world. Closer tries to stand and fight. But no! And again! Dignitas beats 100 Thieves in the dragon fight, and again, it's Neo the hero. Neo, take a bow, man, all game long. Fancy footwork. Yes, he's getting the speed ups from his team from Biofrost, but this one was all him. Finds the angle, sees the line, hits the mystic shot, and now marching through the base. Hold on, I gotta get on the phone real quick. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. Hello, Raz? Yeah, what you said on the analyst desk? Yeah, Neo? Yeah, that was right. This is exactly what we wanted to see here from Dignitas. This is exactly what they got to do to be able to fight back against the reigning champ. Wombo combo, put him in the ground. River finds FBI, and 100 Thieves are on their last legs. Someday tries to survive long enough here with a double stopwatch. He'll still die anyway. Closer's back alive, but not for long. Abadaga's gonna fall, and Neo's still alive. Closer can't do enough here in a 1v5. Ladies and gentlemen, first game of the best of three goes over to Dignitas. Woo! Who said this was gonna be a 2-0? So much. <laughs> it's one of your three, buddy, and it's Lock locked it in. in. Okay, okay. So now that you see all 10, how are we feeling about these two drafts against each other? Who do you think got the edge here? Uh, I think there is uh, only making from the thresh, but it's a big wave that they might get zoned off. River's still here. River's ready to go. Who he's underneath the turret, but it's going to be FBI focus first. Now they've got the CC nice down on the enemy support. Who he stays alive, however, and a teleport is coming in. It doesn't matter if it's not unleashed just yet, but a good flash and a lantern for some safety. Means they're able to get out. Dignitas now looking for the re-engage. River goes in, smites the Gromp for oh. HP, but now he's got to back away. Closer's ready. He's here, and he's going in on Bio. He sees the opportunity. River now flashing away. Abadaga looking for the enemy support, and 100 Thieves have already found first blood. River <laughs> wants to get away, but there is no escape. Dignitas have pulled their entire bottom lane up here. You see Aphelios crossing through mid lane. Smite fight. Oh, it's going over to River. And now he's got level six. Closer still only level five. There's not that Viego ulti ready to go. They got Fake God here in the middle of four. But is it enough? Yes, it is. Fake God's able to take down Abadaga. Blue takes out Someday. Closer goes over the wall, and Dignitas looks for a third kill. Who he is stuck, and he will not be able to escape. Blue gives him a paddling. And then he does so much of an advantage, pushing through from mid and bottom first. And we're still at 13 and a half minutes. Bubble happens here. Oh, follow-up comes through. That's a paddling. River picks up the kill. Someday arrives. His teleport is unleashed into nothing. So, <laughs> all right. Well, this mid-turn's going to go over. You, you get the dream 
Zoe situation. Biofrost coming up through the river means, or through the mid lane means they should be able to get it. Oh, nice ward blocking on the lantern. That's a shutdown on river. Beautifully done. Territory here. Oh, that was a good hook. If FBI tried didn't to move this forward, pushing down towers remaining on the offensive, utilizing that advantage against that range advantage. Whoa, over the wall we go. Biofrost goes in. Who he tries to go out. River puts him in the dump. Was a lot of the reason why we're shouting Neo and why we're shouting for the for the carry. The repositioning the extra heal. Closer will drop the second herald of the game to facilitate a tier one turret take here for Abaddon. Something too uh, that people need to keep in mind when you're trading objectives like this. You see the extra resources Dig are already rotating over to the herald push lane. You have to. Put a very high 3, thousand gold and two drakes. Hundred thieves are definitely fighting an uphill battle here. As closer finds himself pulled in there by the death sentence. Sleep comes through on the closer. He's ignited. He's ticking down. He's burning away. River goes back in onto the rest of the team as the final tick of the ignite takes down the enemy jungler. FBI wants to run, but fate God come. They are so deep behind in this game that Dignitas. Looking like they're already marching towards the finish line, my friend. And guess what? There's no flash on Closer, Abe, or FBI. All three primary targets that Dig want to kill, their wanted posters are up, and the oh, reward, for them bounties. <laughs> the reward is huge. Those, those targets are big on their backs. All right, Sleepy Trouble Bubble's gonna be flying out constantly as the poke goes out and Dignitas goes forward. Tier two turrets are collapsing all over the place out here and then Dignitas continues to push. I expect 100 Thieves might be trying to really defend here on this one, but River's already ready to go in. He starts off the fight, and Abadag is going to lose a lot of HP. Fake God's able to take someday so low, it's going to be closer dying first. Abadaga tries to get himself out as Blue goes on a rampage, and Dignitas have two dead. They'll take out the inhibitor. They'll block the bullet. They'll keep an increase with the amount that you are behind. Please, I, throw, throw like, that come on, man. Garbage, I'm man. already struggling here. Come on. Of the week finding Neo. There's no flash on Neo, so it is a possibility. Oh but a hook. no! Closer, the ruined king is ruined, and Blue is unstoppable. Dignitas managed to find a lot, and now Neo's gonna help him find a little bit more. Double kill over to Blue, and Hundred Thieves are heading for the hill. Someday tries to continue running all the way out, but Dignitas have done it! Ladies and gentlemen, where were you when Dignitas cut down the reigning champs in quarterfinals? And they did it! 2-0! Beautiful performances from the whole team. Deathless on three different players and absolutely phenomenal from Dignitas Quantum Pay. I think we've officially entered season two of what the What makes him a good jungler, and it's understanding where he needs to be in relation to his lanes. And that's something that he excelled at on PSG that played around having very strong, like, pushing lanes. Mm -hmm. um, and then on this J4 pick, what it allows you to do is it's just, like, this sounds really dumb, but it's a visually impactful champion. If he's going in, regardless of whether you have not had time to communicate mm -hmm. with your team and you don't have a comm system set up, you know how that works. And he also knows like where to be when in relation to his lanes, which I think is the most important thing to look at. It's here. usually the best advice you can give to a low elo solo queue player is play like a Leona or Jarvan, someone that makes yeah. it obvious when to start the fight. Who knew it could also apply to the LCS and taking down the number one squad? It was yeah. this Rift Herald fight where they got it all back and then some. Definitely back. the turning point. They, the, the fact that River gets six off of the Rift Herald kill is really crucial because it allows him to ult in later. But also, if you're a Renekton, mm -hmm. this is when you want to fight. Yep. It actually is at the first Rift Herald when yeah. you're around level seven and you have your ultimate. Um, Strongest champ on the map. There was a lot of weird things that actually happened here. Like a, a lot of the time, you don't see a Caitlyn Karma lane move, let alone move second to a Rift Herald. Uh, and then they ended up dying, but like the power spikes were there for Dignitas to be wanting to flip that. Yeah, I mean, just taking a look at that Rift Herald, as you already said, the, and the fact that they did move and Caitlyn was not a part of that fight whatsoever gave a huge bolster of confidence towards Dignitas to take the fight. Even if you were, you know, pick apart it, be Nick picky in the fight itself, follow up around Renekton, Flash W, like things like these, like they knew very clearly that regardless of the outcome of the smite fight, that they would be the clear winners of the fight itself. So uh, good on them to just kind of basically pull the trigger.
Well, we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about this series, ultimately what led up to that yeah. rift tarot. Mm -hmm. We have some wave magic yeah. coming there's, up. There's some this. interesting Let's stuff. Go. Before we do that, though, I want to make sure we get a word from our victors. So we're going to hop on over to the Tigers, who's standing by with Blue in our Verizon post-game interview. Thank you, Dash. For the first time here on the LCS broadcast, I would love to welcome Dignitas Midlaner Blue for our Verizon post-game interview. First off, though, I think you are very aware of the high expectations people had for the reigning champs in 100 Thieves going into this matchup. You just took them down 2-0. How were you and the squad able to pull that off? Uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me. This is the first time uh, on the LCS broadcast. Uh, we were actually really excited and uh, actually better prepared this time compared to yesterday's game. We we're still in uh, trying to see how we should communicate because we have uh, a bit uh, some issue that we arrived like three days ago. We just came with him like three days actually. So we're just getting prepared and trying to see what we can do and how we should talk in game. Today that's what we've been preparing against one of the chiefs mostly and I guess it worked out. Yeah, a bit more on some of that chaos that you're experiencing because you are new to the league coming recently, but then River mm -hmm. just getting here this week. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're finding ways to work through that communication, but how were you able to do so in a fashion to show up so strong and be on the same page when it comes to this best of three series? We've been uh, seeing words like, for example, easier words for River to understand or for him to say so we can communicate faster and easier or being more on the map, or what people want to say. Like, we just uh, talk a lot about TC after yesterday's games, and today we just do it on official game, and it's really, it worked out, actually. I'm also really surprised and happy that we played really good, so, yeah. Yeah, everyone definitely showing out for the squad in total. I know that a lot of that unity comes from being on the same page with your coach as well. You having a history with the coach when you played in a previous league, how does that factor into how you are developing with this squad? Uh, I trust a lot about Inatrum, obviously, because I played with him and we were also really successful in our past league. Uh, I'm really happy that I, I have a chance to work again with him. I've, I'm learning a lot with him. He's always trying to learn me my communication or my gameplay stuff. So I'm really grateful to, to work with him again. And I'm pretty sure that other also players that are also learning a lot from him. So he's also, me, also like Mabry and Enatun are really helping us a lot, I will say. Yeah. Well, I know that we are all very grateful to have you here in the league. I do have to ask, how's your finger feeling after last week's fiasco? <laughs> Uh, I will not show it because it looks pretty bad, but uh, it's it's okay. It's a bit better. I basically snapped my snapped my nails, so half of it is gone. It's still painful, but it's getting better every day. So yeah. I'm glad you're at the very least on the mend towards full recovery. <laughs> Blue, thank you so much yeah. for stopping by for this interview. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, so excited to get Blue's first words here on the LCS broadcast. Let's head back over to the State Farm Analyst Desk to continue breaking this down. Thank you very much, the Tigers. Two days of scrims. Yeah. And crazy. two easy wins. That's crazy. Boom. They're going to be in a semi-final. Coincidence? I think not. They will.